I remember the exact moment when we found it, drifting through the endless void, a tiny metal messenger from a world we had never known. The day we discovered your Voyager spacecraft and its gold-plated phonograph record. I was among the first to sense its presence, a distant echo across the cosmic expanse. A whisper so faint it could have been mistaken for stellar noise. The small craft was worn, scorched by solar winds, scarred by micrometeorite impacts. Its power cells nearly depleted after its lonely journey, but it persisted, it endured. How very human of it. In the time scale of your Earth, Voyager had already gone silent. Its final transmission home had been sent long before our discovery. We found it in what you would call your distant future, after its mission to humanity was complete. The golden disk gleamed despite the darkness that surrounded it, a beacon, a testament. We did not yet know it was your greeting to the cosmos. We traced the etchings on its surface, simple diagrams, basic instructions, a map leading back to your world, the pulsar locations serving as cosmic coordinates. Your attempt to place yourselves in the vast emptiness, to say we are here, we exist. The gold plating that protected your message, the copper beneath carrying your sounds, even the uranium-238 isotope that allowed us to determine when you had launched this message into the void. Each element chosen with such care, such hope that it would survive long enough to be found. When we deciphered the method of playback, there was silence among us. A collective pause. The weight of connection about to form across impossible distances. And then we heard you. Hello from the children of planet Earth. As the Secretary General of the United Nations, an organization of 147 member states who represent almost all of the human inhabitants of the planet Earth, I send greetings on behalf of the people of our planet. We step out of our solar system into the universe seeking only peace and friendship to teach if we are called upon, to be taught if we are fortunate. We know full well that our planet and all its inhabitants are but a small part of this immense universe that surrounds us and it is with humility and hope that we take this step. Shalom. Hola y saludos a todos. Selamat malam hadirin sekalian. Selamat berpisah dan sampai bertemu lagi di lain waktu. Kai pacamatna, pitapas, naitapas, rima payas, bruna simit. Audio piano. Tuwe suara ini saya kembang ikan ini yang lain. Saya yang akan kari wapan ikan. Guru. I wish to extend greetings and friendly wishes to all who may encounter this voyager and receive this message. Ook België stuurt zijn groeten de ruimte in aan boord van de voyager en hoopt dat deze boodschap als ook een good luck van dit seizoen aan de van. Salut aan mensen van de comité van outer space en we believe say this committee good for we. My dear friends in outer space. As you probably know, my country is situated on the west coast of the continent of Africa. The landmass, more or less, in the shape of a question mark. For countless cycles, we studied these records. We absorbed them. We came to know your world through this golden ambassador. What a carefully curated portrait you painted. What a deliberately crafted message of hope and achievement and beauty. As our technology evolved, as we mastered the ability to traverse vast cosmic distances, we eventually found our way to your blue world. And only then, after countless rotations of your planet around its star, did we begin to perceive what was not included on your golden disk. There were no sounds of your wars, no images of your genocides, no examples of your cruelty toward one another. No recordings of children crying from hunger. No pictures of your polluted rivers. We saw the mushroom clouds over Hiroshima and Nagasaki. We witnessed the mass graves of Cambodia. We felt the horror of your concentration camps. We observed the transatlantic slave trade. We watched forests burn, 
and coral reefs bleached to skeletal whiteness. We saw rivers choked with plastics and skies darkened with industrial smoke. The casual brutality with which you treat your only home. We saw how ideologies meant to elevate humanity became tools of oppression. How technologies created to connect became instruments of isolation. How knowledge intended to enlighten was twisted to manipulate. We witnessed the false prophets who twisted truth for power, who fed fear instead of courage, who promised salvation while delivering destruction. But do not mistake our words for judgment. We come from a civilization that experienced two catastrophic collapses before our third incarnation found balance. We understand the path you walk. We have walked it ourselves. Your golden record does not lie, but it is selective, it is aspirational. It shows not merely what you are, but what you hope to become. The contents of your golden ambassador are not a documentation of what exists, but a promise of what could be. A reflection not of your present, but of your potential. I understand why you chose to share only beauty. Why you elected to present your highest achievements rather than your deepest failings. It was not deception, it was aspiration. Every civilization faces the same choice that confronts you now. The choice between compassion and indifference, between stewardship and exploitation, between unity and fragmentation. The magnificent music on your golden disc can only exist in a world where creativity is valued above domination. The scientific knowledge encoded in your message can only flourish where truth is exalted above dogma. The beauty you aspire to cannot coexist with hatred. Will wither in the shadow of greed. We made a copy of your golden record, a perfect duplication down to the quantum level. We study it. We cherish it. We guard it as sacred. This precious artifact has been integrated into our understanding of the universe. We restored your Voyager craft, repaired its damaged systems, replenished its nuclear power source. And then with reverence, we sent the original record, your golden messenger, back into the endless night, allowing it to continue its journey into the void. Your message continues its cosmic voyage, a testament to your existence, a beacon of your potential. You are remembered, you are witnessed, you are known. The atoms in your body were forged in stellar furnaces billions of years before your birth. The energy that animates your consciousness has existed since the first moment of creation. You are a temporary configuration of eternal components. We are listening, we are watching, not with judgment, but with hope, with recognition of our shared journey across the spiral arms of existence. You are not alone in the darkness, you never were. The stars are patient, and so are we. I will keep listening for you, keep watching, and keep hoping. The universe awaits the civilization you might yet become.